everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tutor, back today with another tutorial. And this one we're going to use the windmill that um, you should have seen yesterday on the time lapse. So down below you're going to have a link where you can go and download the windmill and also in that link I'll also put down there the other textures you're actually going to need. Because the thing is, the textures we use for Blender are actually different from the textures we use for Unreal, or at least they should be. So if you're creating something in Substance Painter, for instance, you normally export out different textures for Blender and different textures for Unreal. And here I've just pulled up on the screen actually what they both look like. So as you can see, the one down below, which is the Blender textures, we've got Metallic, we've got Height, and we've got Roughness. Now, with the Unreal textures, they're actually all actually in together. So with Unreal, you only actually have three texture maps, whereas Blender, you normally have four or five. Now, you can import the Blender textures into Unreal, but they won't look as good, actually, as the ones that are the proper setup for the Unreal Engine. So that's a quick note, just so everybody knows that. So with that said, let's get started. When you've uh, downloaded the windmill, it should come in something like this. Just make sure Eevee's on so you can actually see it. And when you press the space bar, which is the animation button, it should actually have the windmill going round like so. And it goes to 120 frames, and then it restarts again to zero and back to 120. So I press space bar now. So pretty much the animation is set up. So you guys can use your own uh, models and animations and you can still follow along and do this. So the main thing to do is to first of all make sure that the whole of the object is actually together. So if we grab the parts of it, so it's in just a few parts, and we press Ctrl J and then we join it all up together, just press the space bar, make sure it's all working. The next thing that you want to do is there was a bug in Blender and it's been a bug for years now, but it's still there. So what you need to do is you need to click on your bone, which is the armature, and just come over here and change the name of the armature to something else. So let's call it Windmill Turner, something like that. And now it actually should work. If you try exporting it out without actually doing that, what will happen is it'll just shrink down in size for some reason. I don't know why it's there, but that's the way that we fix it. Now in this particular model, we only actually have one bone. Normally you would have a root bone and that's quite important. But for this actual tutorial, we're just gonna use one bone. What do I mean by a root bone? A root bone is basically a bone where all the other bones actually connect to. Now I might uh, actually go over this in a later tutorial, but for now, to keep things simple, we're just gonna use this one bone. Now before we export this, what we need to do is we need to come click on our object, press Ctrl A, and we're gonna to go to all transforms. And basically this is important that you actually reset all the transforms and then what you need to do is you need to right click and you're going to set origin to wherever you want it to actually come in in other words if my origin is set down here at the bottom this means when i pull this object into unreal engine the object will be flat against the floor if i set my origin to the center point here it means that it will be halfway in the floor so that's very important. So if we right click now and set origin to geometry, you'll see that it actually moves there. So how do we get that back down to the floor? We press shift S, we put cursor to world origin, and then we press right click and we set origin to 3D cursor. Now we're basically ready to take this through to Unreal Engine. So now what we need to do is we need to grab our bone, grab our object with shift click, come over to file, go down to where it says export, come down to FBX, and then we're just gonna export it out as an FBX. So where is where I'm going to export mine? These should be exactly the same if you've just opened up uh, this file or you open up a new Blender file. It's, it resets every single time. So the first thing you wanna do is selected objects. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna select the mesh and you wanna select the armature. So just shift select the armature, come down, and just make sure everything is like it is on mine. It, it should be exactly the same. There's nothing really that you need to change. In the old Blender, we had to change a lot of these things, change a lot of the, uh, the forward and apply scaling and things like that, but we don't actually have to do that anymore. So now what we do is we click Export FBX. Now, just go and open your Unreal, and what we'll do now is we'll just import our windmill. So come down to where it says Import, this button here, click on it, and just find your windmill. Here is mine, so if I double click it, and you'll end up with this box appearing. 
Now, the one thing that you do need to make sure that you do is clicked on is import animations. Just make sure that is clicked on and make sure it's just on exp exported time. It should already be on that, but just in case it isn't, just make sure it is. Make sure skeletal mesh is on and everything else should be exactly the same. Apart from what you will have is import materials and import textures ticked. Just make sure these aren't ticked on or what it will do is it will bring in the model and it will bring in all the materials and textures that have been put on the model inside Blender. And we don't actually want to do that in this case, as I said, because we've got some new materials that are specifically designed for Unreal Engine. So once all that's done, click import. And you will get all these missing influence verts, for instance. And the reason for that is because on this model, we don't actually have a root bone. I didn't actually put one in. It doesn't matter at the moment for something like this. Normally you would have a root bone, but for this case, it's a very simple animation. We didn't actually need one. So let's close that down now. And if we come over to the green one, this says windmill animation, grab hold of it and just drop it in the scene. And now if I come and press play, and I turn around, you can see we have our windmill and turn in animation. So now let's press escape button and now let's put these materials on. So what I'm going to do to do that is, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna come up to where it says material, and then I'm gonna rename this material. So let's start with the balcony and window. So balcony, uh, you can't actually put a space in this, so just call it balcony windows. And what I tend to do is just capitalize the next word, so that's how I do it. Press enter, and now let's bring in our new textures. So let's go to import again, find wherever you downloaded your textures to, and let's just bring these all in. So I'm just gonna select mine, go all the way to the bottom, shift select them, and click open. And this will take a fair bit of time just to bring them in. And you will get this complaint from Unreal, don't worry about it, basically what it's doing is it's actually taking the normal map and it's actually converting it so it actually works within Unreal Engine. Alright, so once they're all in, double click on your material, and what we'll do is we'll just make this box a little bit smaller, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the three first materials, which is balcony windows as you can see there, grab the first one, grab the last one, drag them in and just drop them in. Now you can make this bigger now, you don't, you don't actually need to see the bottom of there. So let's just pull these into these positions with this one at the bottom. So let's plug in the uh, color first, which is this white node here. So grab this node, plug it in base color, and now we'll do the normal. So we'll grab the white node again, plug it into normal, and now we'll do the occlusion. So with the occlusion, the red node is gonna go into ambient occlusion, the green node is going to go into roughness and the blue node is going to go into metallic. So there we go. That is the setup. Simple as that. Then all you need to do is click apply. Let it just apply it and then click save. And now we can close this down. And now what I tend to do, you'll wait a few minutes and then it'll appear. So let's now put this in its own folder just so we don't get mixed up. So let's go to new folder and we'll call it windmill. And then we'll just drop this into this folder. So I've just grabbed it. I'm going to move over and just drop it in and click move here. And now if I double click this, we should have this here. Now I know that there's five materials on this windmill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to click duplicate. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over to this left hand side. I'm just going to make sure what the name of them are. So we can see here we've got bottom base. So let's rename this. So if I right click, rename, and we'll call this bottom base. And then I'm gonna duplicate again. And I'm gonna call this one, so we've got bottom base, bottom floor. So let's just call this one bottom floor. And of course you can name yours whatever you want to. And then I'm gonna duplicate this once more. And the next one's windmill fans. So windmill fans. And then finally the last one, so duplicate one more, and I'll bring it down, and this called one's called Windmill Top. So let's right click, rename, Windmill Top. And if you click actually on your windmill, you will see, if you come over to the right hand side and just scroll down, it's actually got five different materials. 
and that is because this was made up of five different materials when we joined it all together and actually Unreal Engine actually knows that. So now let's come down to the bomb base so we'll double click this one and what will happen is now obviously we've got the wrong materials in here at the moment so you can right click actually to drag it across left and right so let's come to the first one and we know this is bomb base so now we'll come over to here where this search button is click on it and there'll be a search item here so just put in bottom base and you can see bomb base color is here so click on that come to the next one click on it bottom and we're looking for the normal map so it's bottom base normal as you can see here so let's click on that one and then the same with the bomb one so bottom base occlusion and let's just click on that click apply and then save that out now let's close this down on to the next one so this one is bottom floor so that's the one we're looking for now so I'm going to click on this one click on it I think it's bottom floor is this one and then the normal so bottom floor normal and then bottom floor occlusion apply and save and let's do the last two so we've got uh, windmill fans so let's see this one so if I put in wind here it should come up so windmill fans there we go so this one's the base color then I'm looking for the normal so windmill fans normal and then the occlusion Windmill fans occlusion. So let's apply and save. And then finally, on to the last one, which is windmill top. So probably get away with just print top in here. Let's see. So if we print top, and there we go, windmill top. Normal and occlusion. And let's apply. and save okay so the fun bit is actually putting these on so we've got windmills uh, balcony first so let's throw that on should put it on all of them so let it just load up and there we go and now we've got windmills uh, base which is this big bit here and then we've got the bottom floor and then if we turn around we've got the fan and then finally the roof so let's put it on the roof as well grab that one and let it load up and then there's one final thing you just need to do before it's ready to rock and roll and that is if you come up to build and just build lighting only so click on build lighting only this will take like two to five minutes something like that once that's done though it means that all this material will have the correct lighting on and should look pretty good actually so let's wait for the lighting to build and while we're waiting for that, let's talk about these windows. So you can see at the moment the windows are not see-through. I do have a tutorial, which I'll also link down below, which shows you how to take glass from Substance Painter or Blender, for instance, take it into Unreal and actually make it see-through and look correct within the Unreal Engine. And there we go, the lighting's built. So let's press play and let's have a look what we're going to look like. So. Here is our windmill going round, and as you can see, the textures have come out looking really, really nice. And it looks like a really, really nice game asset. So I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. I hope you found that tutorial useful. And I also hope that you really like the game asset and are going to use it in something that you're actually creating. And if you like the tutorial, give me a like. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. And if you want to support the channel, check out the links down below. So I'll see you on the next one. Happy modeling, everyone. Bye-bye.